Hello friends, it is a Costco shopping day. It has been less than a week since I've been at Costco, but I am hosting a Galentine's Day party tomorrow for some girlfriends and I like to come and get a bunch of stuff at Costco. So we're getting that today. I'm also getting some things for my family, obviously, and I'm going to bring you along. And if you want to see the Galentine's Day party, make sure that you subscribe to the channel. It will be on here very soon so that you can see how all the food I buy today and the flowers turn out. It is sitting at about 19 degrees today in Anchorage. It is trying to snow little tiny, teeny, tiny, beautiful snowflakes. Not much to speak of, so not too bad of a drive into town today. Let's head inside and do some fun Costco shopping. This cart is freezing. We're gonna start with these strawberry pretzels. They're on sale for $5.39. Seriously, this cart is so cold. It must have just come in from outside. This hamper is so cute. It's got wheels. I kinda want one for the boys' bathroom. $49.99. I'm just not sure how it would fit with what how they have it right now. Right now they have laundry baskets that are really short that go under their sink. I'm trying to warm up for a few minutes before I take off my jacket, but I did turn the heater off because I find that if I leave it on when I'm shopping, I start to sweat. <laughs> the juxtaposition of winter and spring. We've got our ice melt here for $14.99 for a 50 pound bag. And then we've got a self-watering planter box and some bulbs, spring bulbs. Still three and a half months of winter here in Alaska. Oh, this looks fun. An axe throwing thing for, we throw them in safer than actual axe throwing. It's fun. The boys would love that. Can I get some nicer plates? $13.99 and some cups for $11.89. $5.89 for some hamburger buns. $7.99 for some bread. Can I grab some pretzel bites? $6.69. Okay, thank you. Chicken on a Hawaiian roll. Some limes for $7.99. $8.99 for five pounds of grapefruit. Okay, $6.99 for blueberries. Gonna grab a couple of those. $9.49 for strawberries. Ooh, there's a yucky one. Some romaine hearts for $5.99. $8.99 for some green grapes. And $7.99 for some red grapes. Ooh, they have broccoli. They haven't had broccoli in weeks. Now we get to go grab some fun things that we only grab when they're having a party. Some meats and cheeses. I like this set of mixed meats for $12.99. And then also these meats already wrapped around the cheese for $15.99. They just make it really easy to set everything out. $9.67 for some ham. And this week we're gonna grab some of these heart-shaped macarons. $11.99. This is looking like a fun cart. Okay, we're, we're gonna grab one of these party packs for 
$12.99. And some Havarti for the boys' sandwiches, $9.79. Now I would usually buy some fun cheeses from this section, but I have a friend that works at a specialty grocery store and she offered to bring some of her favorite cheeses and I said yes. So she's gonna bring the fun cheeses with her to the party. $10.49. Gonna grab some guacamole for the party, $13.99. Let's keep shopping. Ooh. Grab some whipping cream, $11.69. Ooh, feels kind of sticky. Let's find a different one. Ugh. I can't get warm today. I gotta put my jacket back on. Much better. Traffic jam up here for samples. Can you grab one? Is that yes, all right? Ma Thank right. you so much. Sure. All right. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. A meatball with some buffalo sauce. Eleven ninety nine. Some Korean jerky. It's yummy. Kind of tastes like beef bulgogi. And I love that. Oh, it's so good. Yum. This one. So good. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. Enjoy now. Thank you. All right, we got a sample of these. Grab some of these crackers. And $14.89 for some Velveeta. It's for my secret recipe. <laughs> my sock is trying to come off in my shoe. Not allowed. Ooh, I'll have to show a picture of this to Bennett. Chocolate dipped strawberry pops. Bennett got a popsicle maker for his birthday and has been obsessed with making popsicles. Got all eggs in stock. Limit of two. I'm all warmed up again. Gogurts are still on sale, $4.39. Okay, gonna grab a multi-grain sea salt tortilla chip, $8.39. So here, 689. Okay, so we need some flowers. I had planned to go to get a wholesale flowers, but just didn't have enough time. So we're gonna see what flowers we can find. You know, it is the week of Valentine's Day, so they should have a pretty good selection. Oh, something I've never seen before here before we get to flowers. Reese's dipped animal crackers. Those sound dangerous. $8.59. Ooh, I've never seen these before either. Organic cocoa rolls and guava. Sorry. Take it of everyone. We will try these. $8.99. These are $18.99. $17.99. I am not loving this selection. That's what I want. I don't want salt added. Black pepper, $4.99. Granulated garlic, $6.89. I usually just put regular garlic when a recipe calls for this, but sometimes I guess it would be handy to have it. This is a lot sooner than I usually go grocery shopping, but obviously I was a woman on a mission. Um, with a few things for my family and then mostly for the party. The thing is the Super Bowl happens right after the party, the Sunday after the party. That's like the one football game that we might watch part of every year. Maybe even not, but the boys like to eat some more Super Bowl food. So I'll just pull all this stuff back out for them for the Super Bowl. So we're killing two birds with one stone. Here's my cart. 
If you want to give a guess on how much we spent today, still managed to fill a cart. Lots of expensive fruits in there, so I'm sure it's not going to be cheap. <laughs> You want to be on, you have to go that way. What is Say that? Hi. Hello, CCTV. <laughs> Welcome in Costco, okay? Bye. <laughs> Our new, oh, I'll tell you in a second, it's too bouncy out here. <laughs> It'll make y'all feel like you're a bobblehead. Okay, so Donna was asking me about the channel as I was leaving the store. She was checking my receipt and I have not figured out yet if I will teach like a YouTube class. I am leaning towards figuring it out. But one thing I have done for the past probably six months is when I meet somebody that asks me a question about our channel, I created these business cards and they say this Alaska life and they have a QR code. So I hand them to people and they can just hold their phone up to this QR code on the camera and it'll pull up our YouTube channel. And then just to get more bang for our buck, I put the Boys Alaska Boys YouTube channel on the back. This is a really easy way for me to hand these to people and say, here, check out our channel. If they're asking me about my camera or about YouTube, I also ordered this thing that goes on the back of my phone and it magnets on there and it's supposed to hold your credit card, but I don't wanna keep my credit card in there. But that's where I keep these cards, so I always have a stack of them to hand out. And I've handed out probably 75 of them over the last six months. So I like to have them on hand to hand out to people. And it's been really handy. Several of you have mentioned that if I do start like a YouTube course, YouTube 101 course, <laughs> um, to have a card or something and hand it to people. And I think that's what I would do as well. Say, hey, here, watch this see if it's something that you'd be interested in and you can check it out. So I can help people that have questions. Okay, it's three o'clock. We're gonna do a quick little taste test of these before we head home. This has become our weekly tradition the last two weeks to do a little taste test. So they are smaller. I've had the bigger ones before and these are guava flavored. I love guava. So that's what um, attracted me to them. Mm, good texture. It tastes good. They're fun. Mm. I like them. Almost taste of strawberry to me. 12 layers all rolled up into one perfect light bite. Mm. Yeah. Product of Thailand. I like it. Dairy free, gluten free. I thought they kind of felt broken inside the bag, but they're not broken. They're just meant to be little. Oh, okay. right. I'm gonna go put these back in the back or else I would snack on them the whole way home. I just needed a few and then we'll head on home. Made it home safely. It's about 30 minutes until the boys get home from school. So it looks like I'm doing the unloading by myself today. I really do love it when they're home. With a little bit of encouragement, they are all so helpful. I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna count it as a workout. <laughs> Five trips up. A little bit out of breath. Let's go see what Luna's doing. She didn't come visit me. Oh, she's right where she was when I left. Were you just having a little bath before you came to check on the groceries? Hi. I know my hands are cold, I'm sorry. 
The boys got some Valentines in the P.O. box today. So my goal is to get this haul done and then get the groceries put away in time for them to get home, they can open their cards for you guys and have an after school snack. And we also have a taste testing we need to do. Yesterday, I stopped by our local Fred Meyer for a few things. And these are our favorite Alaskan sodas. They're called 49th State Brewing Company sodas. And they had a limited edition Aurora Borealis soda. My favorite thing about these is to read the description. Experience the mysterious majesty of the Northern Lights in every sip of this soda that tastes like Alaska's most beautiful natural phenomenon. I'm not sure what the Aurora Borealis actually tastes like, but I'm interested to see what they think it tastes like. We'll have the boys do a taste test when they get home. So let's do our haul and get it put away. We'll start with our dairy products. We have our fresh mozzarella and two packages of Go-Gurts because they were on sale. I have hamburgers on the menu, so I grabbed some buns and then we'll put one of these in the freezer again and keep one out because we are at the very end of our bread. Just trying to restock the freezer. And then these are really yummy pitas. I was hoping to find that hero meat again that they had in the refrigerated section, refrigerated section, but they didn't have it. I do have a good recipe for just like making hero meat out of moose meat. So um, I'll be just making our own. Or the boys just like to eat it with ham or as a mini pizza. There's lots of ideas for those little pitas. Let me turn one more light on in here. When it's overcast and snowy, it can feel really dark in here. Oh, hi Luna, are you talking to us? Yeah, you haven't come to inspect the groceries yet, but you're wanting to talk. Okay, I gotta finish up, okay? Then we have these antipasta meats for a charcuterie board, cheeses. I could swear I had pepper, but I have not been able to find it. So I grabbed some more pepper and some granulated garlic, some Havarti cheese and black horse ham for sandwiches for the boys for school. And then these are also for the party was really happy to find broccoli today, so I bought two. Velveeta for some dip, and some guacamole because it's just easier to buy this than to try and find perfectly ripe avocados for tomorrow. Lettuce, limes, these are for the, these are for the family. We really like grapefruits. And some greener bananas because we do still have a few yellow ones left. Oh, Luna's checking out the bag. You smell something in there? You smell something in there? No. <laughs> kind of sounded like she said no. All right, then we have our fruits. Raspberries, blackberries, blueberries, strawberries, two different types of grapes. Uh, these pretzel bites, I have never bought these. Enjoy now or freeze later. I think I might have had some at my sister's house one time, but I think those will be good on a charcuterie board. Then we have some crackers and some sea salt chips. I think I have some other chips in the pantry. And then we have our fun treat section. We got the heart-shaped macarons. I had to buy this licorice again because it's gonna disappear and then I'm never gonna be able to find it again. I'm gonna go put it away before it all disappears though. Too many other treats for right now over the next couple days. Uh, strawberry assorted chocolate. Strawberry assorted is irresistibly smooth truffles guava cocoa rolls and then strawberry and yogurt pretzels and i grabbed two of those because they were on sale then over to this table oh yes are you inspecting these things okay okay i grabbed two sets of plates some cups and then these are the flowers i ended up with a set of roses and then this mixed bouquet and this mixed bouquet if you want to see what I do with the flowers and all these special treats and food, make sure you come back for the next video because I'm going to be showing it all to you. All right, that's it. We got to find the receipt so we can tell you the total. Today's total, it's a big one, $453.78. 
Now, I am having this party. People are donating some money to help cover food and prizes. Um, each person is donating $10, so that'll help cut into some of that cost, but this is like my one party I throw a year for friends, and so I just really like to have lots of good fruits and really fun treats for everybody to enjoy. I also made sugar cookies. You may have seen that in my This Alaska Kitchen video. Anyways, I gotta get all this put away. Gotta get all the treats put away before the boys come home and think that they can just go to town. They are welcome to have some of all of these things, but I just don't want them to be like dug into before the night of the party. Makes sense? Makes sense, right? You don't wanna like go to like put these out and there's only two left, right? Sometimes kids can go a little crazy. The boys are here. Somebody sent you guys cards. Oh, hi. And kiss. And kiss. Oh, and kiss? I won. I won. I'm not telling you where the candy is at. What candy? Mm -hmm. Hey. Wait. You guys a card. They sent all of us a card. Let's look at them. Is this one? That? Is no, this Mr. and Mrs. James Dush. Is this mine? That's yours, yeah. Mom, is that for you and oh, Dad? I have a kitty on it. Hi, Cassie. Oh. How's a hamster? Jim and Gwen Dutch from Cranberry Oh, it's Bush. Dush. Says pronounced like Bush, it's but a with a D. Mom, Aww, thank you. <gasps> Weston, can you tell us what your uh, field trip was today? Ice fishing. Ice fishing? I didn't catch any, but a lot of people catch them. I had to do a... How did you get there? A uh, bus. And then did they just have everything for you? The fishing poles and... They yes. weren't fishing poles, but uh, we used. They were like those ones that you have to like unreal. Oh, you just unwind it like mm -hmm. off of a thing. Okay. No, after, not off, like it's off a pole. Yeah. I did a great mail race today. Great mail race? Whoa. Yeah. People send us stuff about their state and we send stuff. Yeah. yeah. Did they get all 50 states? Oh. You just no. starting it? No, no, we're not doing open. it. They just send stuff to us. Open it. I'm the person. Open it, boy. Mom. No, mom. Look, mom. Mm. This. Okay. No, oh, um, no, this. It was talk, talk so over him, hot please. in the bus. It was, yeah, when you guys were all in your snow gear. Not in my snow gear. I took off my, my boots on the right there. Where are the windows all fogged over? Yes. Yeah. All right, Sample King, we need your, we need your opinion about the Aurora Borealis soda. Is it grape? It's sugary. But it also tastes like grapes. What do you rate it out of five? No, I rate it a 10. A 10? Out of 10? Yes. Wow, it must be good. I mean, actually an eight. Eight. Eight out of 10. And I want to show you. It's okay. This is really cool for, it looks like it's a hug. And you're good at hugs, huh? And you might see us uh, uh, hugging in a lot of videos. But it's on your card. 
a hockey uh, bear. A hockey bear. And then what's your rating? Do you have a taste test? Do you have an opinion I, about the soda? I would say four out of five. Four out of five? Do you like it? I would have ten. One out of ten. Eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. Is it your favorite flavor that they make? Mm, no. It's really good. Is that the root beer is about ten out of ten. I like the root beer and I like the um, spruce tip. Do you have an opinion? Oh, show us your card. Mine says... This hamster loves you. Mmm, he's cute. Um, it's like a mixed berry, blueberry, and grape. And stuff. Mm -hmm. You like it? No, what does mine say? Definitely different. I think I'd rate it. Um, what does mine say? Happy Valentine's Day. Four out of five and six out of ten. <laughs> so, say, can I have more, please, Mom? Can I have more, please? <laughs> it's overflowing my hand. Yeah. Okay, I want to test it. Carbonated Alaskan glacier water. Oh. Sugar flavors. Fruit and vegetable juice for color. I want to pour this. Yeah, no, this. What does the story it's say on the side? Says, I already read it. Oh, yeah, it's not quite, <laughs> it's not quite like grape. It might be a lot. Not blueberry. Kind of like you said, like a mixed berry. Let's look at the color. Because they make blueberry, and it's a lighter purple. We also got a Valentine from Kina in New Mexico. Ooh, that's a beautiful card. Thank you so much. Okay, we got a card from Hunter. Also got a card from my mama. Let's see what this is. Mom? Daughter, it's hard to find the perfect birthday present for you. After giving you your good looks and great personality, what else is there to give? Happy birthday. Daddy? <laughs> Daddy? It says, I guess you can tell your dad picked out this card. Have a great birthday. <laughs> can I see it, Mom? That's funny. So I got my, hold on, hold on. I got my good looks and great personality from 40? Grandpa. I am not 40. Our grapes match the color almost exactly. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming Costco shopping with me today. We are so grateful for each and every one of you that chooses to spend time with us. We love you and we'll see you again real soon for more of This Alaska Life. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>